guys, my life is like an HBO Max special. Um, I promise, the ending is a lot better than Game of Thrones. That I can promise. I gotta say, the most confusing thing about my life has to unfortunately be my race. I am black and white. No one sees it that way. Everyone thinks I'm Spanish. And normally that's fine, right? It's just a little, you know, intro, right? Like I say, they ask me, oh, what type of Spanish are you? And I say I'm black and white. They're like, oh, I'm not familiar with that. Is that near Puerto Rico? <laughs> like, no, it's just, I'm African American and Caucasian. So Dominican Republic then. <laughs> so, you're not listening. You're not. <laughs> Again, normally it's fine. Not a big deal. That was until I auditioned for a play in high school. Now I auditioned, and I auditioned for a mixed race character, right? I did not get it. But don't worry, I still got casted as Jose Vegas. <laughs> and again, that could have been fine, but then we're doing the script reading, and it was all going fine until the end. And there's a small Spanish line. And I look at it with one ear of French, the other one failed, and I read it in the most cracker gringo way possible. I read it like a Karen trying to order Mexican food. Can I have a, a quesadilla and a tamale, please? So I read that line, and it was funny. Everybody laughed. I was looking around, and then I looked at my director. She was not laughing. She was upset, confused, and disappointed. And I thought, this is gonna have to be a conversation. Okay. So afterwards, after everyone leaves, I go up to her and I try and like slip it in that I'm mixed, right? I say that I'm not Spanish and she goes, Oh, Mitch, so you're not one of those border hoppers. <laughs> no. No? Oh, okay. So you're one of those nits, stop. <laughs> I don't need to be hate crime today, it's okay. Cause I could tell, she was preparing for an English teacher reading To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> class, class, I'm about to read a word. And it's a very powerful word, so if you're offended, you can leave. But I have to read it, okay? It is important to Harper Lee's artistic vision that I carry this out. <laughs> I'm not racist. My husband's father's dog's cousin was half Native American. <laughs> Here we go. And they read it with just the most ambition. It's like a kid on Christmas. It's the one day a year that they get to be openly racist. And they're just, they're so happy. And they always look at, the, at a black person when they read it. One time they looked at me. And instead of being like upset, I was just like, oh my God, I've noticed. <laughs> Someone picks up black. I'd love to say that that was the only time I got hate crime in Montclair. It wasn't. But and if we scale back the racism a little bit, I had people come up and ask me if I could give them the N-word pass. And I didn't know how to say like I was on probation. Like, I didn't do anything racist, but I look like Enrique Iglesias' love child. I can't just be giving out N-word passes like I'm Oprah. You get an N-word pass. Everybody gets an N-word pass. And uh, let me just explain something to anybody that is not a person of color in the audience. I just need to get this real clear. Uh, the N-word pass is not universal. Okay? It's not universal. You apply to that shit like it's the DMV. I want references. I want points of ID. I want a questionnaire. Number one, who is in Paris? <laughs> Are you gonna come out and say it or are you gonna do, oh, people? <laughs> Neighbors. That's the N word you're looking for, right? And uh, there needs to be a background check. And if in that background check we find that you have ever said, I'm not racist, but. banned. <laughs> because that gets followed up with the most egregiously racist shit ever. If we find a picture of you holding a fish like this. <laughs> banned and reported to the NAACP. Because I have never seen someone hold a picture of a fish like this and not be racist. The people that did that in my high school, second coming of the Klan. <laughs> White hoods and all, baby. 
And also, when, it, when they're holding the fish, why is it like always so small? <laughs> Nemo couldn't find it. What are you flexing? <laughs> you got a goldfish. <laughs> Fortunately, that's not the only confusing part about my life. I got many layers, baby. I'm like an onion, just like Shrek said. <laughs> I am straight. Everybody seems to know that I'm gay. <laughs> so much so that they'll bet on it. Did you know that you can look in any uh, sport book site and there's a little section where you can bet on when I'm going to come out? <laughs> Let me tell you, that money line is looking pretty tempting. <laughs> you know. And again, normally I can fend that off. I can say I'm straight. They don't believe me, but at least I said something. <laughs> So this one time I didn't like understand the lingo, right? So someone comes up and they ask me, are you a pitcher or a catcher? I played baseball, so I go, I used to be a catcher, but it hurt my knees. but I couldn't go fast enough anymore. <laughs> so what are you now? Oh, I'm a shortstop. What does that mean? Oh, I'm in between two guys. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't think I did myself any favors there. <laughs> and um, on the topic of myself being just all types of confusion, no, my girlfriend's parents, right? And uh, said so that I was adopted. I showed them a picture, and they go, ah, Dominican! <laughs> Black! <laughs> it's not the problem, right? The problem is, I've never heard a more adopted kid story than this. The problem was, do you understand how confused of yourself you have to be to let two people that you don't know convince you you are Dominican? <laughs> made me think I was Dominican. I called my birth mother like, Mom, show it's black, right? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, why? I'm Dominican now, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're what? I've said the N-word before, I, I'm gonna get in trouble, so I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I'm not black anymore, they took away my black card. <laughs> But just because they think I'm Dominican, that doesn't mean they don't get to like, you know, get a few jokes in there, right? <laughs> They're throwing a party one time. Everyone's talking about what food they should get, right? Pizza, you know, good stuff. I go, we should get a bucket of KFC chicken. Uh-oh. Yeah, I love KFC chicken. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I love fried chicken. I bet you do. <laughs> You did a racism. <laughs> I got racism. <laughs> but are we are we getting the chicken? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>